Sir, the store is closing. Please leave. Can I stay a little longer? We don't have this much honey at home. It's the company rule, sir. You have to go. I'm sorry. Just a little bit. I get stung by the bees when I try to get honey at home. <laughs> Give me a sec. Sir, I can't kick him out. He's too, He's so cute. Can't we just like let him stay here and be a mascot? I don't know. I don't care if he's baby Jesus. That guy's coming out of my store right now. Let me get to him. All right, bucko, this is your last warning. You better get out of the store or I'll kick you out. Please, sir, I'll give you a small smackerel of money if you let me stay a few minutes. Hey, that's not money, that's a button. This is all the money I have, sir. If you need more buttons, I promise to have more at a later date. <laughs> I can't do it. You own the store now, it's yours. Oh, bother. I don't know how to run a business. Oh. All right, sir, uh, the quarterly projections are looking at poor profit this month. Uh, we're going to have to do some downsizing. Oh, bother. I'm already pretty short. I don't know if I could afford to lose a few inches. Sir, we're not going to shrink you literally. We are going to need you to pick which department to fire. Oh, well, I mean, we better get them some sunscreen first. No, sir, we're going to remove them from working here. We're forcing them to quit? Yes, that is right. I don't want to do that. You have to, sir. How will they afford honey if they're fired? That's mean. We're going in the red if we don't get rid of people. It's just how it is. But it's awfully rude. If you have a better idea, I'm willing to hear it. Give everybody honey. Excuse me? Give everybody honey. I'd rather they be happy than lose their jobs. That's mean. We would absolutely go bankrupt at this time. I- I- Please? <sighs> I'm gonna regret this, but I can't say no. I just- I just can't say no to them. Okay, for what appears to be no reason at all, that actually worked. And I'm now going to the bathroom to cry over the monster I almost became. Don't forget these tissues. Thank you. <laughs> all right, congrats on your first day, Mr. President. How did I get here? Oh, we just skipped the election and everyone just unanimously agreed you should be in charge. I don't remember running. They just like you that much, sir. Oh, well, thank you, I suppose. But because of that, I'm going to list off some uh, major issues and you're to give me your opinion. All right, that seems reasonable. Firstly, Big Pharma. That sounds pretty good. What? I mean, if you have a bigger farm, you can fit more animals in there. That sounds good. Sir, it's short for pharmaceutical. Well, if we're going to make the farm a suit, then I say we get a tailor. Why does it need a suit, though? Sir, that's... Also, did you mean to say nickel instead of ickle? Because I, I can give it a nickel if it wants. We'll, we'll get back to this. All right, next issue. Separation of church and state. Oh, dear. I'm very sorry to hear their marriage didn't work out. Church and state are concepts, not people, sir. I'm not sure what a concept is, but I still feel bad for them. S sir please- Oh, bother. I'm just in a sad mood. Can we go to the next one, please? <sighs> sure, sir. Abortion. What's abortion? Is there a problem? Pooh, I can't think of a single perspective of this that wouldn't ruin your innocence. What's innocence? We're just gonna go to the next issue, is that okay? Okay. Thank god. Alright, the current war. There's a war going on. Correct, do you have any battle tactics? Uh, I'm not sure, I don't even know all the presidents yet. I don't know if I could have qualified for this. Well, I, I doubt they're gonna give you time to learn, sir. I President Pooh, I just got off the phone with the enemy war generals. They said they're willing to put the war on halt until you learn all the presidents, because they really like you. Oh. Uh, send them my regards, uh, Secretary Rabbit. Will do, sir. Well, all right, I guess we can do this ahead of time. Uh, who is this? I believe that's a George washing machine, correct? N no, but you're getting close, buddy. Thank you. No problem. All right, Pooh, you rule the world now, the entire planet. How do you feel? I just went to the store a few days ago to get some honey. I, I'm not exactly sure how it turned into this. Just go with it. Depression's at an all-time low since we put you in charge. What's depression? It's not a thing anymore with you in charge, sir. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, depression. I didn't mean to scare you away. I'm sure we can get you with some friends. Pooh, depression is when people are really sad. It's not a person. It's a person to me. I think everyone deserves to be happy, even depression. This is exactly why you're in charge. Well, I'm really confused, but thank you. <sighs> Anyway, first order of business. Wait, I'm, I'm really nervous. Hmm? Well, when I was president of America, the issues made me think too hard, and I can only imagine if doing the issues for every country would... Oh, bother. Who? Who? you do not have to worry about that at all. It's all it's all fixed. Really? Why, why so? Well, uh, uh, when it was announced, you would be ruling the entire world. Every single world leader uh, just fixed all their problems out of instinct because they didn't want to make you too stressed. They re they couldn't do it. Oh, really? Is that, is that true? Pooh, you got to understand, being known as a world leader who disappointed Winnie the Pooh, that's political sewer... 
a career ender. Wait, who's Sue? Sue is a great friend from school. Oh, she sounds lovely. Yeah, yeah, uh, but anyway, yeah, you don't have to worry too much. Wait, then what do I do then? Don't worry, we have the solve everything button now. Just press it. Is that really it? Yep. Everyone will be fine with it? Yep, no one will oppose it, and it's uh, everyone agrees, of their own free will. No brainwashing, nothing immoral, yep. It, just, it literally just found the answer, we did it just for you. It's not even political at this point, because everyone's just gonna like it. Okay. That was easy. Thank you very much. Now here's your trophy. I couldn't accept a, a trophy or I'd just press a button. We put honey in it. <gasps> this is good. Are we going to go trick or treating soon? Uh, yeah, Pooh. Uh, we're just going to need a sec, but we will be on it really soon. I just need to take care of something. Well, take as long as you need. Thanks, little buddy. I appreciate it. All right, now, what are you doing? I'm having, like, the best idea in the world. How? It's like Winnie the Pooh, but he do the murder. Dude, he shouldn't see this. Also, he didn't even do anything to you. Why would you make this? Because it's a passion project I've had in my mind since I was a little baby. This is, like, what my life has been leading up to, man. You got this from a robot chicken sketch. Shut the f- Shut up. Listen, if he sees this, we're- Is everything all right out here? Pooh, I- Is that a horror version of me? I- uh, uh, yeah. Well, if you're going to make that, I just have one request. Wait, what? Can you put a disclaimer saying I'm sorry for anybody I scare?